evil. So when, when critics talk about uh, you all, some of you being afraid of the president or being afraid of, you know, in his, nobody speaks when he speaks, it's not the, it's not the case. No, not at all. The president is very interactive. And remember, the president, you know, it's amazing. You know, he knows the deeper he has been involved. Everybody knows their ministry. But the, the president knows everybody's ministry. Hmm. You know, so you can imagine the body of knowledge that he, he brings along. So he'll take you up on tourism, then somebody else is going to come up on gender. He'll take somebody else on FGM and something else. Mm -hmm. So it, it requires, you know, it, it is a good feeling to, to get a feel of what it takes to be a president. And he knows his stuff. He knows his stuff. Deep, not just knowing. Right. It's, not, it's not what you know on the service. Mm. First of all, he does his homework. He reads a lot. He engages. And then, you know... He, if you go to, uh, you know, you know in, to his office, to his boardroom for some of these engagements, he wants to listen to even the most junior person. And he likes people who are saying no. Mm. And he likes people who are pushing back because within that engagement, a lot gets to, to come out. Yes, yes, and yes. even him, he enriches his, his knowledge by the, by the pushbacks. Uh, you and, know, and, you, and you're good at pushing back, aren't you? Well, there's another guy who's very good at pushing back. Who? I don't know if you know about um, Karl Marx. I know Karl Marx. Karl Marx yeah. had a guy called Engels. Yes. Who was like the alter ego for Karl Marx. Correct, the alter ego. The, the guy who, is, who has taught the president of yeah. this uh, pushback is one guy called Dr. Levin D. He's a real Engels for, for the Karl Marx for <laughs> the president. So it, it is really like a, it's like a university class. You know, the, the, amount, the amount of intellectual discourse that goes on within some of our meetings is unbelievable. Really? You know, people out there think it's fun and oh, somebody, hey, well, it's, mm -hmm. it's really, it's, it's all of a, a small university that happens for many hours. And you're learning a lot? A lot, yes, yes, yes. So uh, David D is that guy? No, he's that guy. And he's, he's fearless. That guy. And he's fearless. And he's, you know, you know as, as a, as to, be the, to be the chair of the Council of Economic Advisors. Mm. You know, and, 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 you know, David led us into, you know, de 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 developing this plan. And, and, and the, the kind of partnership between David and, and the president is unbelievable, you know. Uh, once the president now gets it after all this yeah. tag and yeah. all that, yeah. he's a guy, at the end of the day, he's a chief marketing officer okay. who has to go and explain to peasants very complicated economic, imagine explain to peasants why we are not going to subsidize consumption, <laughs> as you're going to subsidize production. <laughs> how we are stabilizing, you know, the shearing. Yes. How we are going to tame the inflation. And you have to go and tell villagers in the deep of, uh, you know, Turkana, yes. and they get it. So you need all this kind of, teamwork is great, you know. You need all, everybody, you need all flavors. And I think we, we, have, a, we have a great team. We have a wonderful team. We, we really have a great team. You know, I, I, can, I, can, I can attest to that. Okay.